Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Ford Crown Victoria can take you to some really cool places. Whether it be through camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer through most of North America. So let's go ahead and break down that install. All right guys, to prep the underbody of our vehicle, we're going to inspect our vehicle's frame. As you can see, there's no mounting holes, so we'll be drilling our attachment points for our hitch. So we're gonna need to make sure that there's no objects in the way or anything that will prevent our hitch from being flat. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. And we'll want to inspect the passenger side as well. All right, so now we're ready to bring our hitch into position. We're gonna use our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you have an extra set of hands as this hitch is a little heavy. When lining up our hitch, we're gonna wanna make sure that our receiver is square with the bumper and it's not angled one or the other way. And to help do that, right here on the frame rail, we're gonna wanna make sure that the end of our hitch is about one inch away from the end of the frame. Now that we have our hitch lined up, we're gonna go ahead and mark our holes. Starting on the driver's side, we're just gonna go right in the center of each hole and mark that. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull out our hitch. Then using a 5 8 drill bit, we're gonna drill all four of our holes. Now we're gonna go ahead and line up our hitch with those new holes. All right, now with our hitch lined up with our new holes, we're gonna go ahead and put our hardware into place. For each attachment point, we have a carriage bolt and a spacer block. And to help bring it into place, we'll need to fish wire it. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So starting on the driver's side, we're gonna go into our rear attachment point, and we're gonna push our fish wire through until it comes out of the frame right here. Then we're gonna take our spacer block and our carriage bolt and we're gonna attach it to the coiled end. And then we'll push our spacer block in, followed by our bolt. So then we're gonna go ahead and remove our fish wire. And then we'll take that same fish wire since our kit only came with one, and we're gonna push the coiled end through the forward hole on our hitch. And we're gonna push it in until it comes out of this hole right here on the frame. And we'll go ahead and attach our bolt. And we'll push our carriage block in first. Then we're gonna remove our fish wire. And then we're going to install our included flange nut on both of these bolts. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now with our hardware in place, we can remove our hitch jack. We're gonna go ahead and tighten and torque all of our bolts according to the manufacturer's specifications. And we are gonna use a 19 millimeter socket. It helps to have a five inch extension as well. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled the vehicle down onto level ground to show you some measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 12 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories. So that wraps up our install and our video. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need more information on this product, or if you would like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul hitch center or visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.